Hello, hello everyone. My name is GolfX3, better known as Peyton. Um, I'm going to be trying out this European eTour event. I think it's the, uh, the BMW PJ Championship. And the European eTour is hosting it here on WGT. Uh, and we're just going to be playing the qualifier, seeing how many times it takes us to get our score. Um, and here we go. I'm looking for a goal of probably about 16 under. I haven't looked at the leaderboard yet, but I'm assuming 16 and under should be pretty good. So that's our goal for today. As you can see, I've added above my webcam. There is some text that says restart number and then a number beside that. I'm going to be keeping tabs on how many times I've restarting this tournament. Hopefully we can get a score in today. No promises. The way the European E-Tour has set this up, the conditions are very hard. We're playing here on Aaron Hill's set of the week clubs. I think they're all the same as uh, the last event. So that should be pretty easy to adapt to. It looks like we're playing in high winds. See how we can do. Hopefully we don't go OB on the first hole. So I'm thinking the goal is probably probably minus eight on the front and back is kind of what I'm looking for, hopefully. Because there are gonna be some pretty difficult holes, especially with these clubs and wins. Some holes are just gonna be Near impossible to birdie. So unless we get perfect to wins, we're probably not going to shoot 18 no matter what. Hopefully everything's working here and you guys can see me. But uh, yeah, if you and if anyone's watching, have any questions, drop it down in the chat box below. I got the chat open, so. I'll be constantly reading from the chat here. All right, this should be a pretty easy birdie hole. Assuming we can get one in there close. So not used to these clubs right now. I don't know how much spin to put on it. But with that. Oh, not the greatest shot there, but Seen the break about there, I think. Although I think it's gonna break a little bit more than this. So I'm gonna hit it right here, but I'm gonna miss thing a little bit late, I think. There we go. Off to a good start. Now with this wind, I think we can carry that little hillside. So anyone new to this course, there's a little hillside, we can kind of land it right here and it'll kick all the way down. Basically with this wind and this club combo, it should get pretty close to the green. Oh, I don't know about that view. Wasn't a great kick there, but like, I think this background music's a little loud. There we go. 
All right, 47 up to slight tailwind. Probably gonna play this like 46. So it's kind of similar to last hole. There we go. Two under through two. I think the next hole is going to be where it kind of starts to get a little bit more difficult. This next hole is going to be a long par four. Straight side one, okay? This is one of those weird winds. It's hard to tell if this wind is a headwind or a tailwind or if it's just a straight side wind. It's one of those, it's hard to tell. I think it's a little bit of a headwind. Quick tip on this hole, you can usually, with these clubs, you can usually just take off five yards of what the, uh, what the number says up here. Well, it'll land short, but it'll, it'll land like right here. But it'll release all the way up. Alright. We got the heartbeat. It's going to land way short. It's going to hit that hill and it's going to come back down. Maybe it just goes in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh my gosh. That would have been too good. All right, we got one of the hard holes out of the way here. Oh, this one's gonna make this hole play really hard. Alright, we want to be kind of on the right side of the pin here. Basically just pin high right. The problem is with the club we're going to be hitting in, if it lands right on the pin, it's going to release all the way down this hill. So we cannot land it like right on the pin. We gotta land a little bit short or a little bit to the right. Such an awkward number in here. Oh, no heartbeat. I think it's going to come up short. Yep. Put it short just to be safe, but I don't think that misting helped much with it. Tough butt here. Well, this is a tricky one.
think it's gonna be maybe here. I think this is probably the line. I'm seeing not much break here at the feet. I don't think it's gonna start breaking until maybe here. But it should drop pretty heavy coming down. It's really all about pace more than anything. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to miss this spot. Oh, man. So close. I think I might have needed to hit a little bit harder. Alright, we got one par. It's not the end of the world. We are getting just straight headwinds on every hole. The T's up here. I feel like they are up. Does it say on the scorecard? Yeah, combination, okay. I knew that seemed a little bit weird. I think this is the first hole where the tees have been up though. I haven't noticed them on any other holes yet. Which is good on this hole because like, with the wind I had, I would have been hitting a full three wood in. Heartbeat. Turn. Wow, that wind did not turn at all. Tough pot, tough, tough. I think it's about here. up on this hole as well. go we got a heartbeat
Oh, this is a tricky one. It looks so easy, but it's not. I think I might miss this one. Go with this line. Ooh, thank God I mustanged it. All right. We get a tailwind. I don't think it's reachable still, but. Uh oh, hopefully we just didn't hit in that bunker. Oh, it carried. Nice. Twenty two yard pitch. It's not bad here. Pitch this in, that would be so good right now. I think we're gonna play this about 23, maybe. No heartbeat. I think it's gonna come up short. Oh, no. Dang, I don't know how they didn't get a heartbeat. I guess it's in within one foot, maybe? Okay, this is a big hole here. Need to birdie this one. This is probably going to be the hardest hole with these clubs, if I had to guess. I don't even see the pin. Where's the pin at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Man, you really cannot miss left here. It's the one place you can't miss. No heartbeat. Oh, no. Oh, that's not a bad place to be. It's a little long. All right. I don't know. This is a hard one to read. I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in this region.
could be like right here. Maybe. I'm gonna play it a little bit farther out. I'm gonna play it here, I think. Yep. We're gonna go with that. No, we missed it high. Dang it. Okay, now we got a birdie out. Got the heartbeat. Maybe it just goes in the hole. That'll work. Seven under front nine. We're gonna need a tailwind here. Please, tailwind. Or sidewind. Oh man. I don't think that's very good. Okay, not a bad number in, if we can hit the ding. Oh, that was a pretty big shot there, I think. That might be a little strange. I never do very good with this pot. I think it breaks right to left just a little bit. I think it's going to be right there. I'm just going to hit it. Alright. That was a pretty big hole there. Right, another heartbeat. It's not too bad there. Mm, I 
I think we're good aiming it right there if we ram it. All right, nine under through 11. Driver should carry about 300 yards here. So we're gonna land just land it on the slope, I guess. Pull out. All right, next hole is going to be a pretty difficult one. If we can get through the next hole, we're going to have a couple easier holes after that. Heartbeat. It's a tricky putt over there. Under aim the wind a little bit. This is a decent line. We're going to go with this line. There we go. camera view. Okay. This thing is gonna carry probably probably like two thirty maybe. Alright, that's a good number. Good number in At least I think. All right, how far does this thing go? I need to hit this for about 68. 
So about 90% or so, maybe a little bit more than 90. Don't hit the flying stick. No heartbeat, oh no. Ooh, that released a lot. I was not expecting that to do that. Okay, this putt's gonna break right to left, but not much. I think you can just ram it about there. can reach over that. Oh, it's cutting it close though. It's cutting it really close. Too bad of a number here, I don't think. Hit this about 79 yards. Let me think about 79. Four. So about there, probably. Get the heartbeat. All right, thirteen through fifteen. Tough, tough two holes coming up. And that is a really hard wind. Tough hole. Oh man, this is so tough. Oh, no heartbeat. I think it's going to come up short. Oh, that's not a bad spot. I think I had a similar putt to this in my actual E-Tour match from last series. I wonder if I can find that. I'm going to see if I can find that. That would be on the E-Tour page, I think. Every once in a while, if you have a recorded round, you can go back and look at it. I think I had a similar putt to this. Let's look. Mmm, kind of. I think I was a little bit more down here. Tough one here.
I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere in this area. Huh, I guess we'll go with this line. Okay, I don't think this is a terrible end. At least it's not a straight headwind. Hopefully we can get a three iron there. Go. Yeah, I think we can. Okay. Got a heartbeat, come on. Oh no, I don't like this putt. No, not this one. I thought that was gonna be a lot closer. Such a tough pot. Are there any other views? See this break, this view shown a lot of break. Like this is one of those pots where this thing could just take off straight left. I could miss it all the way down here. Give the green view maybe a go. at this one. Alright. Green view. Oh, it only does the back? What? Okay. I'm thinking this puck could be all the way out here. Or maybe even more. Could be more. I think we're gonna go with this line. I'm not feeling too confident of this putt. If I had to give myself some chances here, I'm thinking I'm gonna miss this putt seven out of ten times. And I think I'm gonna miss it low. I think I'm gonna hit a little bit harder and maybe even miss it late just to try to counter that. Because I got a feeling it's gonna take off straight left in this first like two feet. Yep, 
we're gonna go with that. Oh no, we missed it. And straight headwind. Okay. A little too firm, I guess, in that last part. Give me a second, guys. I'm looking at something real quick. Alright, we're going to need a, a whole lot here. Alright, I think this is the line. I don't think it really matters too much. This score isn't too much. I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to miss this putt low, so I'm just taking my time looking at it. So we'll go with it. All right, first attempt wasn't too bad. First time we tried it. I guess I'll check the leaderboard. It's probably top 10, but that's probably all it is. How do I get back to this? Is there a leaderboard option? Does anybody know how to get to the leaderboard? I don't know how to. Oh, it's right there. What am I talking about? Uh, we're top 10 at least. 
A lot of people at 56. I guess we can try it again. Oh, where is it at? I gotta go to my OBS, change my thing to restart number one. I almost don't want to play it again just because I got a decent score first try. I think we're gonna use the fast forward button on all of our shots. 15-under is good enough. So I think that's going to be it for me. Um, what have been streaming for? I don't know if I want to keep on restarting and try. I think 15-under is good enough. So I think that's going to be it for me. Um, I think it's probably pointless to try any anymore. So, uh, yep. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already, sign up for the eTOR event. That is under tournaments, I think. I think if you want to get to it. Here, let's give it a second for this thing to load.
It's under game modes, solo tournaments. It should be the big banner here. I think. Yep, it's right here. And then you just click enter tournament and you're good to go. I think it's top 16 um, qualify for the bracket play. Um, you have eight weeks, so there's going to be a tournament every week for eight weeks straight. And the top 16 from each week qualify for their spot in the bracket play. So um, if you haven't already, don't forget to, uh, to play it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the bracket play. I'll catch you guys later.